Hey guys, today I would like to take a look at a mask that is a true classic uh, and one of my all-time favorite masks, and that is the 1977 Be Something Studios Fang Face. And um, this one um, is one of the masks that I had uh, as a teenager uh, in my collection, uh, and um, it is uh, one of the masks that I, um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I, there are some that I have no recollection of what happened to my originals, um, but uh, this is a replacement that I uh, purchased um, uh, probably a decade ago. And um, Fang Face, to me, I, I, I still remember, um, as I, as I uh, explained in uh, my first video, um, I, I worked in a magic shop and um, unboxed the masks at Halloween, and and I, I remember this one coming out of the box, and I, it just blew me away. Um, I had never seen anything like it, uh, and then it hung uh, along the ceiling, along the edge of the ceiling in in the shop, and I couldn't take my eyes off of it. It's it was just such a unique um, mask at the time, and um, really it it because of the sculpture, the paint job, everything about it, it endures as a classic. And as are uh, most Be Something Studios masks, um, they're, they're um, just sort of a three-quarter mask with, with a hood. Um, this one's a really nice plush hood. And um, in, this, in this photo here, you can see my friend Jay wearing my Fang Face mask and um, me next to him in my um, Don Post werewolf mask. Um, Fang Face was another mask that I wore in local uh, haunted houses at Halloween. It was super easy to make a costume for, obviously just make a black robe and you have a costume, which is what I did. And um, just a little black makeup around the eyes and it was um, really an impressive looking mask or costume uh, once, once you were wearing it. And, and so this one um, came out in uh, 1977. It was in production for a long time um, and pro you know, probably up through the 80s. Uh, here you can see the original catalog photo from 1977 and it was always available um, in both a male brown version like this one and a female uh, green version. Um, I don't have the green version. I'm still looking for for one at an affordable price. Um, I'm gonna call this one a 1977, even though it was in production for a very long time. It, it appears to have um, the original style paint job um, and the paint job changed a little bit um, over the years. You can see in different catalog uh, photos through the years, the paint job's a little bit different. And um, this one, I'll, I'll take it off the stand here and show you, um, it's got uh, a nice, um, nice bit of information uh, in the mask under the hood um, and you can see right here uh, it's got um, across the top here it says bye bye and that's by Bill Yeastrom uh, from Be Something Studios and it says 1977 Be Something Studios right there um, and so this one actually was um, re-sculpted at a later time um, and the, the newer sculpt, um, probably somewhere around the year 2000, it was in, as you can see, um, the 2001 catalog photo here. Uh, and what's kind of interesting about this photo is if you take a look, this sculpture is still um, the one that they show on the female fang face, and the new sculpt is on the male in this catalog. Uh, so that's kind of, I guess it was a transition period, um, but... Um, but even later, they had um, sort of a third sculpt that was more radical looking, uh, and I believe that's still available today. But um, this, is, this is one of my all-time favorite masks. It's just a really cool, um, cool mask. It, it's sort of, um, you know, still to this day, it, it holds up as just a fantastic um, sculpt and a, and a great looking mask. So. Um, Go out and find yourself a fang face if you don't have one.
it's a great one to have in your collection. Thanks, guys.